so dealer tire was a spin-off uh, or an idea that was generated out of our retail uh, business. We realized um, a, a couple of things. First of all, one of our, our best referral bases uh, to our retail stores were car dealers. They kept s sending us their customers mm. saying, you know, we don't sell tires and go down the street, these guys will take good care of you, which of course as a retailer we liked, you know, if they're sending us all this business. But we started asking ourselves, you know, why are they sending us business? They're in the maintenance business. They sell service. In fact, car dealers sell about a third of the uh, uh, maintenance um, uh, vehicle uh, uh, parts and service mm -hmm. in the United States. You know, close to uh, $80 billion worth of sales. So they're a very large component of the U.S. aftermarket. But what they weren't doing is selling tires. So we began to ask the question, why, and could we help them? And as we explored that, w we realized there was a tremendous opportunity uh, that we could leverage teaching dealers why they should sell tires, you know, how they could make money and retain their customers, and then creating a system to make it easy for them to actually uh, sell the tires. And that's kind of the fruition. That's how we got started with mm. dealer tire. In essence, we took our retail expertise and started to apply it to a different channel, a different uh, a group of retailers. Um, we saw some, you know, I, I always say, you know, one of the keys to strategic planning is to frame your questions. Um, and as we started off in our business early on, we framed it how we could grow and what needs mm -hmm. we could service. And that led us to our improvements in our retail business, how we improve customer service bit by bit by bit. So in, in asking these questions, I think you also asked another fundamental question, and that is, who is your customer? Yeah, who is the customer yes. and what are the long-term needs in the market? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what we realized <clears throat> was um, the consumer was changing. They yes. wanted a lot more convenience. Mm -hmm. and. Another trend that was very important was um, the complexity of uh, tires, um, the technological improvements of tires starting mm. in, the, um, in the early 90s led to basically um, a tremendous breakthrough in the performance and handling and overall quality of a tire. What that allowed was uh, basically it allowed car manufacturers and tire manufacturers to come together and leverage this technology and design tires that were optimal for each vehicle. We saw that as a, a, a significant um, a trend in background because what it basically meant uh, that they were going to be creating all these new tires mm -hmm. that would fit. They were just tailored to each individual car. Yes. And we realized that the independent tire dealer, which we were at the time, would have a hard time stocking all those tires. Yes. And that led us to the conclusion, you know, first of all, just from a consumer experience, our retail told us, you know, people really wanted good service. They wanted expertise. They wanted it done right. And you know what? They wanted the right thing on their car. And we realized long term that car dealers, because they could specialize on just one make of vehicle, mm. they could stock that specialty tire that an independent tire dealer couldn't. They also had um, uh, uh, great technicians that were factory yes. trained yes. and understood these mm. complex vehicles. So they mm -hmm. could perform better service than most tire retailers. Um, and lastly, car dealers had a lot of um, great attributes. They have nicer showrooms, they have nicer facilities, and quite frankly, they had a lot of customer traffic. Mm -hmm. You know, car dealers see about uh, you know, they perform about a third of all vehicle maintenance, maintenance in yes. the U.S. That's mm -hmm. $75 billion worth of uh, maintenance, close to um, $80 billion actually. And of the consumers that are flowing through uh, a car dealer on e any given day, going to, to the dealer for parts and service, sometimes for warranty work, um, about one in 10 of those vehicles have bald tires. And up until that point, car dealers were really kind of ignoring that problem. They, 
if they happen to spot a ball tire, they would say, we didn't do it and we don't perform tire mm -hmm. service and send them down the street. Yes. So we realized they weren't really addressing uh, consumers necessarily their safety needs uh, or making it convenient for, for consumers. the consumer. Yeah. 